Hatland Display uh, is part of a, a wider group, an industrial group now. Uh, the group is called Embron. Uh, it is the holding company. And uh, we have five other organizations within, within that group. Uh, we are involved in the maritime industry, but also many other industries, including aeronautic and land and, and different segments. Um, Hatland Display that uh, I represent is a manufacturer of uh, type approved displays, panel computers and computers for the maritime industry. We've been in this market for many years. Uh, we have over 250,000 uh, systems on board ships already. Uh, and we uh, provide these to system integrators who are involved in uh, navigation systems on board ships as well as automation uh, systems. Actually, Hatland Display has not participated to SMM before, so we're very pleased to be here. We've always stood uh, in the background and allowed our products to be shown by, by customers, but we feel it's an important time for us to do this. Um, Hatland's always been an innovator uh, in this market, bringing out new technologies, and part of doing that is also taking feedback from customers and uh, bringing that feedback and, and developing products accordingly. So uh, on this show we certainly have some, some very good uh, new, new solutions. Uh, one of them is uh, a chart table uh, which is also here. Uh, it's a 55 inch uh, 4K resolution uh, display with a 40 point multi-touch touchscreen. And what we're doing there is allowing uh, ship, uh, ship crew to be able to plan their routes on a digital screen rather than just use a paper chart. Um, and uh, the innovation that we are bringing to this market uh, is going to be very useful for safety uh, as well because these displays are also used for ECDIS uh, applications, uh, which has been a major part uh, of, the, of the industry over the last four or five years. Yes, absolutely. So um, we are um, entering more and more into the automation segment. Uh, and to do that, we have uh, developed a new range of HMI uh, panel computers, high performance panel computers that are very versatile and can be configured for many different automation requirements. So be it engine management, power generation, uh, and, and, and other functions on board ships. So our panel computer range is, is growing, and especially on the smaller size of this place where we see uh, the capability we're bringing on the computer side is, is being very very useful for, for those industries. Uh, we are also bringing out um, new displays, uh, larger screens, so as well as the 55 inch that I mentioned, we have a 43 inch um, 4K resolution display. Um, this is um, a, a requirement for several different uh, applications including the bridge systems for, for the radar and for the ECTUS. Uh, we also have a 32 inch 4K display. 4K is a, a big topic at the moment. Uh, it allows you to have a lot of data onto one screen and that is why we are growing that suite of products uh, and offering quite a lot of choice to customers. So our role in the safety uh, it relates to the technology that we can bring um, to, to the market. I mentioned earlier that ECDIS has had a, a very big rollout since 2012 uh, leading up to 2019 when I think um, the, the, uh, the rollout more or less ends. Uh, and uh, ECDIS, uh, having, having dual ECDIS on board ships, uh, having digital screens uh, on board ships for people to, to be able to plan and navigate uh, has been a major, a major part of improving uh, the safety uh, for navigation uh, on, on the seas and our, our role has been to make sure that uh, technology is, uh, is, is, is playing its role in that. Our products are color calibrated to ensure that ship crew can identify the different colors uh, on, 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 on their screens and that's been a major part of our contribution to, uh, to, uh, to be able to supply active systems. So there are some new innovations. Um, one of them is actually uh, where ship owners with 
large fleets are looking to be able to track the progress of their fleets. Uh, you can imagine ship owners who might have 100 or 200 different ships um, uh, who want to actually um, uh, look at the progress of those ships across the seas. Uh, two ways for us. One is the hardware. I described the 55-inch chart table that can be used as a tactical table that can be used onshore as well in, in, uh, in control rooms um, and, and therefore display uh, large, uh, large, large areas of, of the globe uh, and track the ships in that way. Another area which is uh, the future is also providing telemetry um, information from screens uh, through the cloud and allowing the ship owners via control centers to be able to to have a look and see uh, the progress of those ships the state of their technology uh, there are sometimes failures in technology and in, in in electronics so being able to predict those being able to see them ahead of time and keeping those ships functioning by by anticipating any problems and potentially uh, dealing with them even before they they fully materialize